<laughs> Thank you, Holly. Can you imagine, I go a lifetime without a sore throat and this week it happens. <laughs> okay, we're going to the Harbor Nantucket early morning. The wind blowing from Port Quarter, gulls lazing, water rippling on the Harbor Bay, halyards rattling in the breeze, morning sun climbing fast, cloudless sky, coffee, quick, donuts, juice, move it topside, make ready, weigh anchor, we're shoving off, it's a sailing day. Okay, coming about from the East Coast to San Francisco Bay, 17-foot sailboat, made in Hong Kong, all teak. Uh, just passing Treasure Island, heading out into the bay. Nine knots of wind, westerly. Close hauled, main tight, keel to mast, heel and right. Craft trim, creasing wind, slow swell. Jib cleated, aft and seated. Starboard tack, nothing slack. Briny spray, underway. Still sailing beneath a gypsy moon. Mass bends slightly abaft the wind. Jiv and main are full. Bow slices crisply through the swells. We heel lightly to port. Next to me, her silky black hair, glimmering in moonlight, sits my love as we speed to sea in a gallant wooden ship. Beneath us, the surging ocean a light breeze fills the mains, sails, propels our little boat, and lifts us up toward a twinkling indigo sky beneath a gypsy moon. Okay, ready about, well, we're taking another tack, coming about, mic check. I, I want you to say damn right. Respect for, for democracy. Affordable housing for all. Damn. Attend to global warming. Accessible health care. Decent paying green jobs. Free education for all. And fascist police tactics. Damn right. Indict the banksters. Damn right. Audit the Fed. Damn right. Corporate money out of elections. Damn right. Indefinite de net detention is un American. Damn right. A corporation is not a person. Power to the 99. Love, not fear. Peace out. Piggly Wiggly in Oakland. Pigs on parade in the pig's playpen. Tear gas, flash bombs, premeditated hurt. They even attack UU Minister Reverend Kurt. They squeal and they snort. They attack without provocation and attempt to destroy the Occupy Nation. Pigs in a poke, shoot that bloke. Stick a pig, he bleeds Wall Street oil. They stammer and they bleat. Only thing missing is a white hooded sheet. Cuddled protesters, well-planned. Fascist pigs running rampant in poke land. <laughs> Net and Yahoo. 
I'll spell that for you. N Y E T E N Y A H O O. Netanyahu, the American Israeli, who, of course, could make it to Mandela's memorial. Netanyahu, who wants the world to know about the real Iran. This real American Israel, Israeli, who continues to endorse the illegal occupation of Palestine, continues to support the illegal blockade of Gaza, who does not have the concept of negotiation in his vocabulary, who refuses to admit that Israel has the largest and only stockpile of nuclear weapons in the entire Middle East. Hello, da, 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 da. Jimmy Carter, former president, Nobel Peace Prize winner, writes about the apartheid state of Israel. Benjamin, American Israeli, knows crap about peace. He's all about war and fear. Sound familiar, American NRA teabaggers? American Israelis, one in the same, two of a kind? One pair does not beat a full house of Palestinians. Oh, any, are there any police in the audience? Put a lock on your Glock. Hey, pig, shot a kid lately, walking while black. Hey, pig, take your fascist vows to support capitalism. See that homeless lady over there? She's mentally disturbed. Tase her. Shoot her. You do it all the time. No qualms. Hey, pig, back from the wars. See that brown kid, 13 years old, carrying a toy gun. Shoot him at least seven times. Dead for sure. Hey, pig, see those three over there? They don't belong here. Stop and frisk. What constitution, bitches? Hey, pig, who are you protecting and who are you killing? With liberty and justice for whom? Ready to come about? Do I still have some time? Coming about. Tiny bells of crystal hanging from cedar tree. How did that happen? It rained today, you see. Winter set. This took place in East Coast. We don't have these kind of winters here. Branches, limbs, trunks, silhouette. Ember glow sky, black ground, sun set, only reflections left from today, and the moon whispers, tonight, tonight. <laughs> well, we're on the moon, moon shadows. This is up in the Sierras and by a lake. The night slips by, a full moon rises, her fragrance lingers, a large fluffy cloud passes. It is quickly dark and serene. A gentle breeze wafts through the pines, nudging violet memories of legs, arms, and fingers intertwined. Mist rises slowly across the lake. A loon calls. Cedar and spruce cast long, spindly shadows across the glen. Sensuous curves of her breasts and belly are silhouetted in the moonlight, shadows from a rock. A small animal rustles in nearby thicket. A restless breeze tinkles aspen leaves. Night noises, moon shadows, a quiet time. Goodbye time, a long sigh time, moon shadows. From the lips of a shadow, fingertips trace silvery lace, silent in corner place. From the lips of a shadow, a kiss once lost 
remembered lingers. Memories slip past on radiant wings. Ready to come about again? Coming about. Israel has a little dreidel. They spun it out of lies. It spins and spins and spins. The truth it still denies. Oh, dreidel, dreidel, dreidel. Where is your accountability? Oh, dreidel, dreidel, dreidel. There is no democracy. The destruction of Palestine is what I plainly see. Mass killings of mothers and children. It's as clear as it can be. Oh, dreidel, 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 true justice for each and all. Only, only that will set the Holy Land free. <laughs> Taking steps, also known as the hustle, also known as jive ass slide. We are taking steps to speed up investigation of abuse of people with disabilities. We are taking steps to stop the sales of acid to devout religious Indian men who have been dousing acid on their wives. We are taking steps to prevent the abuse of migrant workers getting sprayed with pesticides while working in 110 degree heat. We are taking steps to ensure the safety of garment workers in Bangladesh. We are taking steps to make sure inmates in Guantanamo prison cleared for release in 2008 will be released in the next 14 to 24 years. We are taking steps to reassess your mortgage. It will be ready in the next 24 to 36 months. We are taking steps to ensure that your black son is not racially profiled by the Florida police or the Los Angeles police or the New York police or the Chicago police or the Oakland police. We are taking steps to follow you. We live in Florida and Texas and you know what that means. Okay, anybody have a cell phone still on? B Big brother, it's watching you. And your little sister too. Watching it, listening to every little old thing you ever do, do, do. Watching you, listening to you, 24 seven, come 11. Watching you, watching you. Do you, you do Twitter? You do tweet? We be watching you. Now, ain't that too damn sweet? Man alive, ain't nothing sacred. Whatever you do, whatever you speak, we be watching you. Every old bite, every eeny beeny squeak. Mm -hmm. Jesus, man, with the big badass ears, whatever I say, you got to hear? Hey, bro, way past 1984. What are you listening to me for? You're on YouTube? Facebook, whatever you are, whoever you are, whatever you do, when you are on, they be taking a real good look at you. Whatever you say, by hook or by crook, does not sit very well with me, not in my book. It's the law, they say, it's on the books, known by select senators, CIA spies, Homeland Security rooks, also known in the FBI fort, all lordly members of America's imperial court. So leaking the news from year to far ain't breaking any law, didn't start any war. Traitor my ass just doesn't fit. This label they toss damn well sticks in my bloody craw. It's dedicated to Edward Snowden. Shh, big brother. Uh, last poem. Maybe next to last. I was working in San Francisco, Connard House, which caters to dual diagnosed adults. I was working in a transitional housing and a lot of lonely people there. 
And this was written in the Santa Cruz Mountains in September of 2000. Lost and all alone. Loneliness and the peace of solitude. There comes a time in a person's life when you feel completely abandoned, bereft, alone, empty, adrift. But are you really alone? You might think so, believe so, trust so, know so. But oh, suppose, just suppose, you go outside for a walk, a long walk. Eventually, you find yourself in the deep woods, near the top of a hill. Sunlight is bursting through the limbs and branches and needles of some lofty pines and fir, casting spankling shadows on the ground. A crow is squawking off on port bow. A gentle breeze brushes by. You lift your, your eyes lift to a stand of pine. You spot a grandiose tree in all its brilliance and splendor. There it stands, tall and alone. You stop and pause, thinking. Way, way off the sounds of the ocean. Here then, you are not so far from the peace of solitude. I got, I got one more. You uh, found my honey. She's a daughter and a sister, a teacher of tots, a, limber, a liberated woman with a touch of the hots. She's a mother and a dancer and a granny of five and a, an award-winning beauty and queen of my hive. So far out in left, almost beyond the sea, a Sandina warrior that I trust and respect, warm and loving, nurturing and free, dependable, a friend indeed, and not just for me, giving and caring with a salsified soul, found me a honey near the Berkeley Bowl. Except I took some poetic license. We met on the dance floor at Ashkenaz. And that's Dolores Hellman.